going on YouTube back here in the greenhouse again looking at the hot tub aquaponic garden we got all kind of stuff going on this week last week fixed the water leak it still has a little tiny bit of a leak going on but uh, water levels back up nice and high you can see how much aeration I like to give my beds lots and uh, actually, it's so much I had to pull that one out of the uh, water because I actually thought that uh, the air stone came undone and it was just straight bubbling all of the air right out of there. And it's not. That's the air stone. Um, ooh, uh, uh, yeah, let's just jump to this bed right over here. So remember the dead bed, the one that had nothing growing on in it? Not anymore. So check it out I'm um, not exactly sure exactly where I planted everything but I'm pretty sure cucumber another cucumber cucumber another cucumber four more over here some of these could be okra I can't remember exactly what okra looks like but these remind me of cucumber and I definitely planted some of them um, not exactly sure what that guy is pretty sure that might be one of the weeds and then we get over here uh, hey look at you pee so we got some peas popping up. Here's another one right over here. Looking beautiful. Another guy right over here. The only bad part is I just realized they're so close to the drain right there. Um, and these guys, peas tend to have some long roots and stuff like that. So, uh, and when roots are long near the drain, they like to go down the drain. So, I mean, not a big deal. They just kind of come out the uh, drain and into the tank. But, uh, eh, might clog it up, might not, but I don't know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So I'm so happy about that. This, If you don't know, uh, if you're new or whatever, um, this bed has pretty much been shut off and, uh, what, since last fall. I, uh, this was all full of strawberries and uh, they all died off and I turned the bed off to like disinfect or whatever you want to call it, drained it all the way down and it's been out of commission until, what, like a month or two ago. I turned it back on just to get it cycling and here we are got new life the fishes are doing great um, I actually just fed them a minute ago not fish food but I gave them a grasshopper um, talk about that guy in a second my rosemary is doing pretty good I guess I don't know there's some yellow type stuff in there but uh, I don't know overall it's looking good you can see we got some spider webs around there that's one thing I'm starting to uh, I don't know if concerned is uh, the thing I'll oh, check it out my uh, pak choy is trying to put off seed pods. Sweet. Um, more rosemary over here. Another one over here kind of wrapped up in some spider webs at the top. If you guys know if that's spider mites or whatever, let me know. Um, there's more spider webs over here on my little um, grasshopper. Uh, another rose. Yeah, that one's all wrapped up too. There you go. You kind of see that. Oh, there. But uh, yeah, got a little bit on there, but that rosemary is doing very well. Uh, more bok choy over here. Look at this guy. Looking beautiful. Nice and big. Have some holes in it. Um, this one right over here. You can see we've got some damage right there. I just caught a uh, grasshopper on there. A little tiny little thing. Look, you can see, uh, as they would say, scat all over there there's black little dots all over the place and uh yeah it was munching away on there but i'll cut away right now to that little guy so you can check out what he looks like oh sucker eating my plants All right, that was great, man. Look at that. I could pause the video and insert another. Um, anyway, I got another little bok choy right over here, looking beautiful, coming into his own. The other two over, or wait, no, let me talk about this little guy over here. Popped up a little bit ago, so it's coming into its own. Oh yeah, and this guy right over there, if you can see right there, it's like uh, kind of like the roots are pushing it up out of the water stream that's right there. It's right over here by the intake. But, uh, and the other guy right over there, they're both laying down and starting to flower. So that guy's flowering way over there. This big one, mustard green, 
it's hanging all the way over here now and it's flowering off of the uh, table here uh, who else we got another rosemary right here another rosemary over here um, then we've got that rosemary that rosemary and the uh, radicchio look like uh, looks like it just went downhill so I don't think it's uh, gonna hang out with us too much longer and more cukes so I'm pretty sure they're cukes might be okra but I'm pretty sure they're cucumbers been a while since I uh, planted okra or had okra um, here's another one right over here probably another cuke looking beautiful then we get into this bed um, more rosemary another rosemary got some spider webs in between there another rosemary 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 and rosemary they're all looking very nice um, and this little guy over here it uh, <clears throat> last time I said hey look it uh, looks like a pepper or, or a tomato um, now it totally looks like a pepper and I remember what I did I had a I believe I uh, had a white peach and I ended up planting it and uh, thought what the heck let's see those long leggy things go nuts in aquaponics so hopefully we're gonna get a white peach out of that guy that would be fun in aquaponics um, like I said water level is nice and high <laughs> The fish were happy when I threw in the um, little tiny um, grasshopper. Little tiny little guy. Um, this bed, which is pretty much, I don't even think I planted anything new in this bed. But uh, you can see right over here my bok choy is going to seed. And my lettuce, it starts all the way over here. It's all the way over there, all the way up here. Look how tall this thing is. It's just starting to bolt. So look at that. That's a nice amount of uh, growth there on one lettuce plant. And, uh, nope, that's a Malabar. I thought that was something different every time. Oh, there's more Malabar that popped up underneath there. And more over there by the bok choy. More there. Look, they're all starting to get nice and bigger. Nice and bigger. And uh, all coming into their own, so pretty cool. I'm not sure what that thing is. Oh, seed pod. But, look at those guys over there, growing up nice and tall. So, alright, well that's it. Let's look around here, the hot tub aquaponic garden. Why? Because it's in on top of a hot tub. And, uh, yeah, really happy about that new bed over there, coming back into commission. So, awesome. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and checking out what's growing on in my garden over here. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, all that fun, happy stuff. Come back, check out way over there, the Lava Rock Aquaponic Gardens on Thursday. We do the super hots uh, in the indoor grow room on Monday. Yes, they're going to be outside someday. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for hanging out with me. And check it out, all my plants in the greenhouse here. And don't forget to do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below. I will catch y'all in the next video. Till then, later.